And we got a lot to talk about here today, including tonight's AEW Dynamite, where we have got a lot of things happening here, including Orange Cassidy defending the international title against Claudio Castagnoli, who is very angry that Brian Danielson got his orbital bone broken. And in storyline, they don't know if it was the Orange Punch or the Rainmaker. In reality, it was neither. But since Claudio does not know, he is going to take out his anger on both Orange Cassidy and on Okada at some point, maybe. Then we have got the women's title on the line, Hikaru Shida versus Willow Nightingale for the belt. MGF and three partners will be facing Jay White, Juice Robinson, and the Guns. Perhaps one of them will be our own Sean Garrett, who is currently one half of the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. Kenny Omega teams with Chris Jericho against Matt Menard and Angelo Parker. And yes, yes, Tony Khan will make an important announcement. What could that possibly be? The holidays are approaching, he says. There's an important announcement to be made. Set your clocks back Sunday, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out tonight. Are you right over there? Yeah, why? The beginning of the show, Mike has nothing to say. No thoughts what on the lineup to tonight? Well, I don't know. Tell me about the lineup tonight. His important announcement. I, I love that. But uh, Orange Cassidy and Claudio is interesting to me because the brand new edition of the Adam and Mike Big Audio Nightmare is available for subscribers of the site. And we were speculating last night since it seemed like Danielson and Okada was a natural match to make for the Tokyo Dome on January 4th. If Claudio is the one that now fills that void and if he's very upset and wants some revenge, well, you got a pay-per-view coming up for AEW and you got certainly the Dome Show coming up. So we'll see how that goes. I knew you'd have something to say. I do. Brian Danielson did have surgery for his broken orbital bone. And uh, Tony Schiavone revealed on today's AEW Control Center that he has now had his surgery. And he's expected to be out until, quote, later in the year. Which would mean that, well, if he's back later this year, that means he could do the Tokyo Dome show which would be January 4th of next year. Hmm. And it will, I guess, come down to whether he can make it or not, whether they uh, go with Okada and Danielson, or I guess they could do that Okada-Claudio match. But obviously, Brian Danielson really wants that match. And if you watch the way that everything has gone with these guys, clearly the idea was that he was going to get that match at the Tokyo Dome. Well, but, there there is a asterisk there in that they do do the second night do the do do the second night of the Tokyo Dome or not the second night of the Tokyo Dome, but the second night of Wrestle Kingdom they've done with in in conjunction with Noah later on in the month. So that probably is going to continue. So to me, with him getting the surgery. I know he would want to do it at the Dome. I get that. But, again, it's not like they're not going to ever not run the Dome again or he's not going to have a chance to work the Dome. He could do it next year as well, too, as long as he can stay in one piece. But he can have that match with Okada later on in the month if if you so chose. I wouldn't be rushing back from this. I'd still like to know how he was actually cleared to go out there on Wednesday if he suffered this injury on Saturday. They checked him out, and this is what it was. Uh, unless he just didn't sell it the entire time, didn't tell the doctors anything, that he was hurt on Saturday. But that's tough for me to believe that nobody knew that going into Wednesday night. We've got, uh, man, people here, this announcement deal. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, it's kind of become a parody of itself, you know. It I, has. I think some of the thing here is like, you know, semantics. Like uh, DJ said he hasn't done an announcement for months. Actually, he did an announcement last week. They didn't label it a big announcement, but last week it was Tony Khan has a big surprise for Sting. That's the exact same thing. Now, granted, the surprise was a living human. It was a gift, I guess he said it was going to be. He gifted him a man is what happened. But still, it was like, we got a big announcement. I made a joke to Jeff Hawkins that day that I wonder, hopefully, because Tony loves HBO, he loves his movies, he loves all that sort of stuff, and you can see it weaving into the show. 
I was hoping he had not seen the toy because, boy, you know, after all that MJF controversy with Juice, I can imagine what that would bring. And obviously that didn't happen, but he did actually gift him a man in Ric Flair who... Is he going to be there tonight, or are we going to see Flair again? Ric Flair I mean, and what, what, Sting have not been announced for tonight, but that does not mean that they will not be there. Will we, we get some sort of vignettes then? What is Ric Flair doing for Sting? He's he's riding into the sunset with him. Somebody notes here, he had an announcement uh, a couple of weeks ago, Title Tuesday. It was the toy donation. There so, yes, there have been a lot of announcements. They have been phrased different ways, an announcement, a gift, but it's like... You know, regularly, Tony Khan has some big announcement or a big surprise or a gift or an announcement. This is this is not like it's no. a rare it's, thing. It's become part of his bit. And, you know, the it gets attention. We're talking about it now. That graphic goes up on Twitter in different places. But it does, you know, regardless. I mean, it's relatively harmless in, in, in overall. But if he does have an important announcement to make, you know, or, or something that is earth moving that all of a sudden, no, Randy Orton's not coming back there. He's coming here or whatever it is. It does dampen that, you know, as far as the anticipation leading into it, when you have so many of these important announcements, you know, being advertised for the show that tend not to be really all that important in the long run. I cannot believe how angry this is making people. I know, Can I somebody know, do me a favor? Just go back without getting angry. Yes, you do understand go back why they're and, so upset. And find Ladies. out the the uh, you know the announcements that he has announced or announced that there's going to be an announcement since uh, what is it now November first since August first. Just email it to me. If there are none, that's fine. But I I find it impossible to believe that there have been very few because it seems like a weekly thing. If it's not fine, but like somebody can. Uh, can People do this. Spent how much time fighting about ratings? You, you, you know, you're not surprised by any of. This. I don't write down all of the announcements, but I feel like almost on a weekly basis, that is one of the things for the show. Now, the Hollywood Reporter today had a story: next action hero, meet the new generation of ass-kicking movie stars. Do you know who is listed, Mike? Do you know the answer? No, I don't. Who? Which? AEW star mm -hmm. was listed by the Hollywood Reporter as one of the possible new generation ass-kicking movie stars. Anybody know? I'll say MJF just because he's got this appearance in the Von Erichs movie. Dwayne Johnson, John Cena, and Dave Bautista have helped mark out a very well-trodden and star-studded path from wrestling ring to action film set. At 27, Maxwell Jacob Friedman... Yeah. Better known as MJF, the All Elite Wrestling Champion, who's seemingly naturally villainous and always entertaining ringside persona, has seen him become a firm fan favorite as he so called people scumbag. Did could, he write this? Could well be, he might have, be the next to make the journey and will soon be seen opposite Zach Efron in A24's whatever upcoming wrestling drama, The Iron Claw. Who's MJF play? Flair? No, Lance Von Erich, if you can oh, believe it. Yeah, that's right. I don't know how he doesn't look anything Who like plays him. Flair? Oh, I forget the guy's name. I forget. They got Brody in there. They got a guy playing Brody. I'm not sure who does that, but yeah, they, you know. <laughs> who's uh, who's who's playing Ric Flair? Somebody somebody, get me the cast for this movie. I need to know. I, I need to know. Brian. You Aaron got it? Dean Eisenberg is playing Ric Flair. Dean go. Eisenberg. Aaron Dean. Aaron Dean Eisenberg. What would we know this man Yeah, who from? the heck is this guy? From anything? Uh, no, he's not a huge name. Uh, Doors, The Deuce, Public Morals, Joe Pickett, and Box of Shadows are his top build uh, films. I've never heard of any of those. So does, does he have a Wikipedia? Because I can't even find that. Perhaps oh, he'll be no, great. Everything I pulled oh, yeah, up I just now was from IMDb. Breakout performance for this man. This guy so might... we do know who he is. And... All right, I'll be back. I'm going to find out more about this Aaron Dean Eisenberg who's playing Ric Flair. Hayes versus Dragunov. Yeah. This is going to be very, very short. Dragunov ha has his hair hanging over his eyes. That's what he got out of this match? <laughs> I gave that a 12 on the granny scale. Why? His hair was in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what about we get you a, a pen recorder for your birthday? Brian, I got one. Just nobody knows how to hook it up. 
So you don't have one. You have one that needs to be hooked up. It works. It's a pen, though. I know. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll help you hook that up. <laughs> That's the biggest joke I ever heard. <laughs> you are the worst grandmother. Oh my God. <laughs> God. She just cackled at you. Is she drinking that? <laughs> no, she's putting her teeth in or something. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.